this is Veronica and I'm glad that you are here and checking out my channel I'm so humbled and I thank you so much today's video I'm heading to Hebron or Hebron as it's called in Hebrew and it's in the West Bank so me and you we are going on a road trip and our destination will be in Hebron and today we are going to visit the tombs of the patriarchs and matriarchs of faith the patriarchs of faith are Abraham Isaac and Jacob Israel and the matriarchs of faith Sarah and Rhea Rachel by the way she wasn't she was not buried in this cave it's called the cave of Macapera. The cave of Macapera in Genesis chapter 23. If you read about it, it talks about how it say it talks about Abraham purchasing a cave, a piece of blood when Sarah the wife died. And that is where we are heading to. So guys, thank you so much. It will be an amazing journey. And we are going to cross the border. As I told you, we are going to cross the border and we are going to West Bank. So guys, follow me and let's head there. And by the way, uh, it's this time is we are heading to the holiest day in the Jewish calendar. And that is the Day of Atonement. It's remaining few days. I'm expecting that the, when we go there, there are so many people who are praying because this is a prayer site. For the Jewish people. Abraham is the father of three religions. That is Judaism. He's the founder of Judaism and Christianity and also Islam. So I'm excited when I'm traveling to that place. I remember my mom, may her soul rest in peace. Anytime she used to say her prayers, she used to start with the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Then she she continue with her prayers. So <laughs> I'm excited to go and visit this place, and I wish that she was alive too, so that I can tell her the story afterwards. <laughs> anyway, so guys, follow me and let's journey to Hebron. And by the way, Hebron, when when Moses sent the twelve spies to spy the land of Canaan. Joshua and Caleb they brought the news and said that it's a fertile place and they brought to Mos uh, they brought to Moses uh, grapes so this place Hebron it's a a, a large or a, a place where they grow a lot of grapes so expect that today we are going to eat grapes and we are going to buy grapes and we're going to see a lot of vineyards of grapes so guys it's an amazing journey <laughs> so journey with me now to hebron and i love you so much thank you see you there
remember your boss before he come oh.
Alright, so we are now in the Jewish uh, neighborhood or Jewish site. Can you see the site? Uh, let that post. Okay, on the left side you can see a landmark of two person uh, bearing uh, grapes. It represents uh, Joshua and Caleb because they pick up the grapes near here in Hebron and that's the first fruit Moses ever tasted in Kadesh Barnea because Moses uh, sent spies here in the land of Canaan and they, the spies came first in Hebron and they came or or uh, they pass uh, last in the city of Hebron This area right now is the Arab community. This yeah. Arab Israeli schools or no, Palestinian schools. Okay. So the Jewish community ends there in the gate, and now we are in uh, Arab Palestinian community. And also in a few minutes we will be in the uh, Jewish uh, community in uh, Ma'arab and Makpela. So we can see there's there are lots of uh, Jewish soldiers in every corner. Okay, 
Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, Sarah, and Rea. Can me me odd me? Jacob. Okay. Me Abraham. Isaac, Jacob. Can. Esab. Esab also. Okay. Sarah, Rachel, Rivka. Ah, can Gam Rivka? Rivka is a Rebecca. Wow. Toda. Toda. Thank you. <laughs> so guys, welcome to the tubes of the patriarchs. Thank you. <laughs> See Yom Kippur is before Yom Kippur. It's a time for repentance, a time to afflict your soul as you wait for the day of atonement that's why we have so many people that came to pray because this is a, a prayer site before the day of is, is this now also going to be <laughs> you know they are checking you can't enter this place if you have not done the corona vaccination so we are checking they are checking if we have. <laughs> yes, I have. <laughs> you know, you know, guys. I I wasn't having my vaccine certificate, <laughs> but I had a, a picture uh, of when I was taking my vaccination. This is what I showed. Wow, I was afraid that they would not allow me to enter. Baruch Hashem, thank God. Uh, yes, they need to take caution about this corona because if people they don't take care, this corona is coming back. So they are taking all the measures, measures they can to prevent it's coming back. Uh,
Ele já não. Okay, lapit mo na dito. So they can, uh, the Arabs will give access to the Jews to enter the other side, which is the uh, location of the uh, tomb of Isaac and Rebecca. Now, this is the situation. So this area, these lines, so uh, tomb there, that's the tomb of Isaac. Ah, I met the tomb of Jacob, okay, the founder of the Jewish nation, that's uh, James. Uh, his name is changed into Israel, and then the tomb here in the center is the tomb of Abraham. And then on the other side, on the other side, side, is the tomb of Isaac. So straight line, that's the tombs of the men, the patriarchs. Okay, so Isaac, Abraham, and Jacob. So why Jacob is in this area? Because this is a Jewish site. So and then Abraham is uh, the Arabs. The Arabs and the Jews, they considered him as their father. That's why during the regular days, so it's closed, but both of them can see from the window the tomb of Abraham and uh, the tomb of the Abraham. The Jews can see from the window and the uh, Arabs can see from the window the tomb of Abraham. And then Isaac is isolated in the Arab area or Palestinian area. So now on the other side, okay, so there's also a tomb there. So Isaac, and then on the left side, ang kanyang wife, na si Rebecca. So Abraham, and his wife, Sarai, and then and Jake, uh, Jacob, and the wife is uh, Leah. Now Jacob has two wives, Leah and Rachel. Now Rachel was not buried here. He was buried in Ephrata. It's uh, near in Bethlehem. Um, why she was buried there? Because along the way, she delivered her child, and that's uh, Benjamin, the youngest son, uh, the brother of uh, Joseph, the dreamer. So, dahil namatay na siya along the way, sundo na siya in living. Kaya may tomb din siya doon sa Ephrata, malapit sa Bikaya. So, kaya ang tatandaan ninyo, dere-derecho for lalaki, and dere-derecho naman for babae. So, ngayon, more detailed information and explanations will be given kapag nandun natin sa labas. Okay? Kasi we, can, we could not discuss everything, and besides, besides, they have a belief, a Jews belief, that Adam and Eve was also buried in this cave. Okay? They were also buried in this cave. And, uh, well, something interesting. Now, I will tell you later on the story behind why the Jews believe that Adam and Eve was buried here. So, these uh, tombs that we can see here in, in this uh, surface, that's only the uh, the symbol, but the real tomb is around 50 meters deep from this uh, platform. So 50 meters deep. The real cave is now on this building. Okay. Originally, this is uh, uh, built by King Herod the Great, but it had some renovations along the time, and then uh, it became a church uh, later on. But uh, on the seventh century, we the Arabs conquered the land of Israel. This place, which is a Jewish and then uh, Christians, they converted it into a Muslim. So, but then uh, fast forward, um, since uh, both sides is uh, saying they have rights in this place, so 
Ang ginawa, nagkaroon na ng partition, okay? Para walang masabi yun. So, your business is safe. And then, sa kabila naman na isa, malis na nila. Alright? So, please, uh, observe silence. Huwag masyadong magulong. Okay? Huwag masyadong maingay. Don't be noisy. Uh, okay? So, minimize your voice. The father of all nations.
You can take me a photo here. Yes. And behind us is the tomb of Sarah. The wife of Abraham, the matriarch of faith. Wow. Wow. Even how old is big? Sarah. Um, Wow. light a candle in the memorial on this other side it's a time to afflict yourself Jacob the Rea or Jacob and Rea Are we done? Uh, how many are they?
Wow. So during prayers, the women and men, they don't meet. Now this is a tomb of Patriarch Abraham, but the women, when they, they are praying in the tomb of Abraham, they need to come from this side. You know, I feel, I feel good and I feel some, I, I don't know, you know, my mom, she's deceased and her soul lasts in peace. She was 
a Zionist, I'm telling you. Why should I say that? I say that because she was a prayerful woman. So even when we were so young, I was wondering, uh -uh, what, who, is this, uh, who is this God that my mom, she always say about, and she say God of Israel. You know, I, I, I never knew that uh, Israel was a country of its own. Or I never knew so much because I was so young, but that is how she brought us up in this way that in our prayers that we need to say God of Abraham, Isaac and Jacob. Up to now, <laughs> I always say that. So it's an honor to be here and if she was alive today, I know she could be so proud of me and she could be so happy because when she was alive, anytime I travel to Isla in a, in a place that is written in the Bible or people mentioned in the Bible, I used to call, I tell her, and she'll be so excited, saying, This is what we say, praise God, in, a, in our language. Then she'll say, tukutendereza, tukutendereza. So she used to be happy. So I can imagine how proud she could be at this time when I give her this story. But I thank God, you guys, you are there to see this, to listen to this, and on the comment section, you know, you encourage me and I know when you say something uh, positive or you comment on my, on, on my, uh, on my video, I feel encouraged. I, I, I don't miss my mom so much because of you guys. So <laughs> anyway, that was just my side. It's not included in the, in the video. <laughs> anyway, but I felt it and this is it. So guys, thank you so much. I'm humbled by your presence here thank you for taking your time to watch this video i'm so much honored and god bless you so much and for them that have not subscribed to my channel please subscribe and for them that have subscribed thank you so much god bless you and i'll see you again in the next video very soon you can put in the comments maybe the places that you want i i take videos about in israel <sighs> Wow, that was great, amazing. You know, I saw something here that the, the Jews believe that this is the entrance to the Garden of Eden. And Adam and Eve were buried here. So let me give you some uh, background, few background. Although Hebron is very rich in history, and I mean, there are lots of biblical significance that uh, uh, happened or that took place in Hebron but I would like to speak a very particular thing to you concerning Ma'arat Hamakpela okay now why this place became very significant to the Jew and the reason we can uh, trace back during the time of Abraham when he came here in Hebron now last time we were in uh, Elon More cover with me in Elon More last time so that's it very nice so we are walking in the history of the old testament so from haran abraham arrived in the plains of moray and in the plains of moray god spoke to abraham telling him all this land the land of the canaanites i will give to you and to your descendants and then after in moray abraham went to bethel we were there also last month and from bethel he moved to beersheba and God reaffirmed the promise that he will give the land of Canaan to him and to his descendants. And from Beersheba, that's around 40 minutes away by bus, going here. And then from Beersheba, Abraham came here in Hebron and he lived here in Hebron. And then, uh, according to the biblical uh, narratives, God made Abraham so great here in the land of Hebron. He became rich and the people here, the Hittites, uh, respected Abraham so much so that fast forward when the time came that Sarai died 
Abraham bought a piece of land and that's the Cave of Machpelah and this is the place. So underneath of this huge mm. building is the Cave of Machpelah that was purchased by Abraham and we can find that uh, history in the book of Genesis chapter um, 23. Let me read to you, let me quote the passage. Um, Genesis chapter 23, reading verse 1 onwards. And Sarah was an hundred and seven and twenty years old. Take note, Sarah was hundred and seven and twenty years old. So 127 years old when Sarah died. These were the years of the life of Sarah. And Sarah died in Kiryat Arba. The same is Hebron in the land of Canaan. So this is uh, still the land of Canaan. Uh, Hebron, but particularly this area is known as the Kiryat Arba. That's why when we enter the Jewish community, you can read in the sign uh, the name Kiryat Arba. So Kiryat Arba, according to the biblical uh, history or narratives, it refers to one of the giants here in the land of Canaan. Okay, Kiryat Arba. Now, uh, verse 2, it says, Ah, uh, all right, verse 2, And Sarah died in Kiryat Arba, the same in Hebron, in the land of Canaan. And Abraham came to mourn for Sarah and to weep for her. So meaning, the death place of Sarah is Hebron. So never forget that. He, she was born, she was born in, uh, in the land of Ur of Chaldes. That's in Iraq today, in the lower part of Babylon. I hope na absorb pa rin sinasabi ko. Okay, and then uh, verse 3, and Abraham stood up from before his dead and spake unto the son of Heath, okay, saying, I am a stranger and a sojourner with you. Give me a possession of a burying place with you that I may bury my dead out of my sight. And the children of Heath answered Abraham, saying unto him, Hear us, my Lord. Could you imagine how the people of this place, uh, what is this, uh, Call, called Abraham, how the people address Abraham, my Lord. So this uh, praise is a symbol or a praise of respect to the person. So the people respected Abraham so much in this place, although he is a stranger in the midst of them. And again, thou art mighty prince among us. Wow, could you imagine? You know, in Elon, uh, in Haran, if you could still remember our story before in in chapter 11 and chapter 12, what is the promise of God? Go to the land that I will show thee, and I will make thee a great nation. I will make you rich. So what can we see right now? God is lifting up Abraham to a highest possession. The people now see him as a prince in the midst of them. Now let's continue on. What does the passage say? Okay. In the choice of our sepulchers, bury thy dead, or bury your dead, that's Sarah, none of us shall withhold from thee his sepulcher, but thou, that thou mayest bury the dead. So, in other sense, we will not hinder you. Find a place that you would like to bury your dead or your wife, Sarah. And Abraham stood up and bowed himself to the people of the land, even to the children of Hit. Give respect as a thank you, and he com communed with them, saying, If it be your mind that I should bury my dead out of my sight, hear me and entreat for me to Ephron, the son of Zuhar, that he may give me the cave of Machpelah. So, ito na. So, ito yung uh, choice of Abraham, that he may give me the cave of Machpelah, who is the owner of that. Uh, Ephron, the son of Zuhar, which he had, which is in the end of his field, give it me for a possession of a burying place amongst you. And Ephron dwelt among the children of Heath, and Ephron the Hittite answered Abram in the audience of the children of Heath, even of all that went in the, in the gate of his city, saying, Nay, my Lord, or no, my Lord, hear me, and the field give I thee, and the cave that is therein, I give it to thee. In the presence of the sons of my people, give I it thee, bury they then. So in other sense, 
You can bury your dead. I will charge you. I will never charge you anything. That's for free. Okay? And then what happened? And Abraham bowed down himself before the people of the land. And he spake unto Ephron in the audience of the people of the land, saying, But if thou wilt give it, I pray thee, hear me, I will give thee money for the field, take it of me, and I will bury my, my dead there. And Ephron, and Ephron answered Abraham, saying unto him, My Lord hearken unto me, the land is worth four hundred shekels of silver. Now, listen, four hundred shekels of silver. Now, one, uh, uh, what is this? One shekel is very costly in the ancient times. So, that means, if we are going to convert this amount today, this could be uh, millions of uh, dollars. <laughs> okay? So, saying unto him, uh, Alright, so, My Lord hearkened unto me, the land worth 400 shekels of silver. What is that betwixt me and thee? Bury therefore thy dead. But for them that amount is nothing that's worthless why because of the good relationship that they have with abraham because of the goodness of abraham in the midst of this uh, people and abraham hearkened unto ephron in abraham way to ephron the silver which he had named in the ogens of the sons of heat 400 shekels of silver current money with a merchant and the field of ephron which was in Machpelah, which was before mamre before Mamre, Mamre is in the other side. We will go there later on. Uh, Mamre, the field and the cave which was therein, and all the trees that were in the field, that were in all the borders round about, were made sore, sure unto Abraham for a possession in the presence of the children of Heat before all that went in at the gate of his city. Now, take note the word presence. Take note the word presence. What does it mean? There's a witness. Not just only a witness. There are witnesses when Abraham purchased Machpelah. Now, there's another interesting thing here in Machpelah. If you are aware also from there, it says um, Adam, Adam and Eve is also buried in this place. And they, they have a belief that there in the corner, that's the entrance going to the Garden of Eden. <laughs> but if you, if you will study the geographical description of the Garden of Eden, that's very far from here. That's in, uh, in the lower part of Iraq or Babylon. Okay? Now, how come they believe Adam and uh, Eve was buried here and that's the entrance of Garden of Eden? We can find the passage in, uh, in the book of Genesis. This is the key word in understanding why the Jews believe Adam and Eve is buried here. Now, what happened? God told um, Adam not to eat the fruit of the knowledge of good and evil. If thou eatest the fruit of that, thou shalt surely die. So fast forward, um, Eve ate the fruit of the, for the forbidden fruit of the knowledge of good and evil. And then she also gave the fruit to Adam. And because Adam loved Eve, <laughs> dinamayan niya, okay? Okay, I'll join you in. I will eat also the fruit. <laughs> so, so both of them, they became sinful and they died spiritually. Now, for us, Robert, oh mga girls, ah, wag na wag kayong tatampo sa aming mga lalaki. Dinamayan namin kayo nung kayo ay nahulog sa kasalanan. <laughs> when you disobey, we join you. <laughs> Patay na. <laughs> kasalanan ninyo. <laughs> so what else? Now, so what else? Uh, because of their disobedience and to God's commandment not to eat the forbidden fruit, so God spoke to them and what God uh, did to Adam and and Eve as a punishment in uh, Genesis chapter 3 reading verse uh, uh, 22 it says and the Lord God said behold the man is become as one of us take note one of us so mm. it's plural God is talking to the son God is talking to the God the Father is talking to the Holy Spirit because there are some people who doesn't believe to the existence of the Trinity one God in three person so God is talking to the Holy Spirit, God is talking to Jesus, but the names or identity was not revealed in the Old Testament time. Now, God said, 
Behold the man, Adam and Eve, become as one of us, to know good and evil. Because when they eat the fruit of the knowledge of good and evil, their innocence ended. Now they have the, the uh, consciousness of what is bad and evil after eating the fruit. So what God did? And now lest, the, lest he put forth his hand and take also of the tree of life. So there's a tree of life in the garden and tree of the, uh, good of, uh, the knowledge of good and evil. And eat and live forever. So God doesn't want Adam and Eve to eat the tree of life and to live forever. Therefore the Lord God sent him forth. Listen to this. Therefore the Lord God sent him forth from the garden of Eden to till the ground from whence he was taken. So he drove out the man. Take note from the garden. He drove out the man and he placed at the east of the garden of Eden cherubims and a flaming sword which turned it every way to keep the way of the tree of life. So what's the connection? For the Jewish, for the Jewish, they believe that there is some kind of a door from the Garden of Eden there in Babylon. And suddenly when God uh, uh, threw out Adam and Eve in the garden, they came in this area. They arrived in this area.